А, това е Суните Аз, Джоан Андържи, Тушер, Лукрен Вакпич, Андри Кат. Мойт Ананта да сбава джиз коментарис. Върс 75. Картана кори босада, шуда бхаве премаката, нама мантре кория абеда. Найштика кория мана, бажоранга шричара нам. Папа гранти хобе паричеда. Транслейшн. I will always pray for prema katha with a pure selfless heart Considering the holy name and the initiation mantras to be non-different. <coughs> Fix your mind and worship the rudy lotus feet of the Lord. In this way, the knot of sin will be cut. Once again, I will always pray from for Prema Katha with a pure selfless heart considering the holy name and the initiation mantras to be non-different. Fix your mind and worship the rudy lotus feet of the Lord. In this way, the knot of sin will be cut. The title of commentary, Fixation in Worship. Sudha. Kanika Yakya. In this verse, the blessed author instructs his own mind to be fixed in the Lord's worship and thus reveals some truths on such worship. First he says Pratana Koribo Sada Shudha Bhave Premakata. I will always pray for loving topics with a pure heart and with a pure heart means exclusively without seeking personal pleasure. We may also speak about pure worship without personal motives, but actually such pure selfless worship is very rarely attained and is dependent on the grace of Sri Guru, Vaishnavas, and Sri Hari. We, so we would write this topic here. So this Narottam Narottamadas Thakur Mahasaya 
give us a general uh, instruction and uh, he Baba explained Blessed author instructs us, <coughs> instructs his own mind to be fixed in the law of watch. So, this is fixed in Ishtadeva. So, then, then some may ask, who is Ishtadeva? He, this did not mention Ishta, Ishta Deva. So, according to the devotee, Ishta Deva means one's beloved feet. Like I said, wife fixing one husband. This is ideal wife and husband, right? <coughs> so, similarly, we have one relationship and the fixing one load. Like uh, Murari Gupta, his Ishtadeva is Hanuman. Uh, no, no, his Ishtadeva is Ramachandra. So Mahaprabhu tried to, tried to shake his determination. Please worship Krishna. A Krishna is very sweet, very wonderful, but after some time, no, I cannot give up my worship of Lord Ramachandra. So, this Murari Gupta is in one point. So, this is a very important point. For our case, this Ishtadeva becomes Ishtadevi. Srimate Radhara. Is someone who wants to practice uh, Manjari Baba, Kinkari Baba, then automatically our Ishta Devi becomes <coughs> Dadarani. This is one point. <coughs> and then another point is Baba Mah uh, Thakur Mahasaya said, Shuddha Babe Prema Kata. Prema Kata is some some story about Prem. But uh, he did not mention what kind of Prem Kata. This depends on which Ishtadeva is our beloved Lord. So if some are fixing the mind, Ramachandra, this Prem Kata may be Sita and Ram. And if we fix the mind, like a Dwarakadesh, this Premakata may be Dwarakadesh and another uh, queen. But for our case, if we fix our mind, <coughs> Radharani, then our Premakata is Radha and Mohan's Premakata. Especially uh, like mentioned in Vira Paksman. So, and the Baba mentioned, <coughs> with a pure heart, pure heart means Anandas Bhaji, Mahaj, uh, Bhavaji Maharaj explained, exclusively, without seeking personal pleasure means no desire for karma, no desire for jnana, no de desire for yoga. Then, such pure selfless worship, uh, but, but he said, but actually such pure selfless worship is very rarely attained. And is depends on the grace of Sri Guru and Vaishnava and Sri Hari. This is, I think, a very important point. Because we have 
we may have many material desire. Many material desire means we have ego, ahankara. And how to smash this ahankara? How to nullify this ahankara that we need? Mercy of Shri Guru and Vaishnava and Shri Hari. And this also Babaji mentioned is Shri Guru. Why not to mention the Guru? Guru then. Shri Guru. Shri means Radharani. Someone who has taken shelter of Shri Mate Radharani. Or someone, someone who has quality. Shri means beauty. Shri means very good quality. Shri means opulence. Shri means many beautiful things. Someone who has, like Radharani's good quality. Or someone who has taken shelter of Shri Mate Radharani. That guru is called Shri Guru. And Vaishnava uh, and Shri Hari. So we are thinking, okay, we can advance by my own effort. But actually, we cannot do this. We always need the need Maxi of Sri Guru <coughs> and Vaishnava and Sri Hari. Because it's Guru Dev many times mentioned we need we need mercy of Hari. Hari means Krishna. Why we need mercy of Krishna? Because if we get the mercy of Krishna, then we can slowly and progressively attain ultimate goal of life, <coughs> ultimate goal of, goal of life, Shurimati Dakara. Rather, rather, would, would someone like to share something on this? We continue reading. Ananta Baba continues. Overcome with bodily consciousness, we are covered by many kinds of subtle desires for opposite sex, for gold, profit, adoration, distinction. They all dwell in the heart. <coughs> At the end of Sri Hari Bhakti Vilasa, Sanatana Goswami writes that the desire for distinction is present in the heart of even he who renounced everything. Okay, this also some comment. This Prabhupada mentioned there is two kinds of desires. 
One is gross desire and subtle desire. Gross material desire and subtle material desire. <coughs> gross desire is, oh, I want to get money, big money. Oh, I want to get a beautiful wife or a beautiful husband. Oh, okay, I want to get nice children. Okay, now I want, now I want to get a nice position in, in a society or in a country. This is gross, gross material desire. And subtle material desire is Prabhupada mentioned three. Profit, adoration, and distinction. Profit is like a, if we do something, maybe I can profit. Okay, I can make, get something or some money or maybe some, some favor may come. This kind of fruitful mentality, subtle fruitful mentality, is Prabhupada said profit. And then adoration is like, a, okay, everybody worship me because I'm great, I'm guru, I'm president of the temple. Like, so everyone should worship me, this kind of mentality. And uh, distinction, distinction is like this. I'm very special because I renounce everything, because I did so much tapasya, I did so much devotional service, this kind of distinction. This is dwell in a heart. And this Baba mentioned this very interesting point. At the end of Shri, Bak Shri Hari Bhakti Pirasa, it is written that the desire for distinction is present in the heart of even he who denounced everything. So this someone who denounced everything is like uh, Sanyasi, or sometimes we may say Babaji, Maharaj. Because why he mentioned? Because some distinction, I gave up everything. I denounce everything. This kind of mentality is very connected with distinction because I'm special. Therefore, I can denounce everything. So, but uh, actually, and then I feel why Guru Dev give up denounce order of life? Because he was worrying in this point. Because we may see many someone who renounce person, but still it may have this kind of distinction. <coughs> so Guru Dev saying, oh, this is, this is not for me. Because I'm nobody. I'm only made servant of Sri Mati Radharani. I'm not Brahmana. I'm not Grihasta. I'm not Vaisha. I'm not Sudra. I'm not Babaji. I'm just try to be, or I'm just be made servant of Shri Matilakara, or humble maid servant of Shri Matilakara. Or in other words, I'm dasa anu dasa anu dasa of my guru then. Or dashi anu dashi anu dashi of my guru manja. So guru them has this mentality, so therefore he was thinking, this denounce so-called denounce all the life is not so important. More important thing is our swarupa. Who am I? I am Radha's Dasi. 
by Palm View made servant of Srimati Dadara. If we fix in this point, this good dimension, Swarupa consciousness, if we fix one point, then we can do anything. That is, I think, this is very important point that Babaji Maharaj Babaji mentioned in this regard. Sanatana writes, the practitioner must be very careful he should not touch the stool of the desire for distinction this desire cannot be given up even by one who has renounced everything else and this desire for distinction is the root cause of all sin. It is also so. So this Babaji Maharaj Baba mentioned this desire for distinction is like a stool, touching stool. Stool we never care. If we go you know, passing stool in the field, then never, never, you know, back. We just go away. And this, I, I feel this distinction. <laughs> if distinction we have, then we cannot be natural, normal. And this person may have two faces. Externally doing like this and internally thinking like this. Internally thinking something and then behave something. This is the nature of someone who has distinction. And this is very difficult to give up even one who has denounced everything else. And which is the root cause of all vice. That means this root cause of our ego, ahankara. Because ahankara means I'm great, I'm enjoyer. Or I have everything. This kind of mentality is root cause of all things and all life. So therefore, Guru Dev's teaching is very great. Because, why great? Because sometimes we may think, oh, now I become teacher, I am Guru. Many people may think like that. But the Guru Dev says, no, I am not Guru. I am a student of my Guru Dev. I am still, I am studying. This is showing humbleness and lower position by ourselves. And this is, I think, nature of Tunada Pi Suni Jena. Tarora Pi Sarori Basaki Shuna. Amanina Manate Kirutari So if we become humble more than the grass on the street and uh, respect all living entities and did not ex expect anything from others like tree. Instead of expecting, always give anything, flower, fruit, twig, branch, tree, and also tree always give us some shade. So this is the nature of Guru Dev. So this is uh, we wish to learn 
how to be humble, how to be uh, to be uh, the humble servant of our people. This desire and this reputation, this kind of desire, no? That we are teaching about the, the distinction, no? that I am important, no? We can uh, totally eradicate only when we enter in this Varupa. We can totally eradicate this kind of desire only when we enter in this Varupa. Because uh, in a subtle way remain the, the potential of this. Yes. So very good question. If this distinction, the nature of distinction can eradicate when we fix our Swarupa? I think yes. This is yes. Because Swarupa, fixing Swarupa means I am made servant of Radharani. Made servant of Radharani is, you know, is most lowest position. Saki is more higher, Gopi is more higher. Manjar is the youngest one and the more lowest one. Lowest one is meant to serve for others. So therefore, we are we are leading Virapaks Manjari. Like, uh, you know, Gopi Saki, we uh, enter Radha Kunda with Mohan, Krishna. They want to pray, water pray. But Manjari does not enter Radha Kunda. They are not praying with Krishna. They are just standing outside and watching and, you know, with uh, many preparation, you know, many, you know, towel and many ingredients to serve you know, Radha and Moha or as a, as a Saki. So I think this is the point. So therefore, why do they say fixing? Fixing our mind, our Swarupa. <coughs> because if we fix Swarupa, then our enjoying nature, our lordship nature, I'm great, that kind of mentality completely disappears. Because I made servant of Shri Mati Radhana. My, my duty is to serve Radha and Radha's Moha. And also as a living entity. That is, I think, this is a very good point. Then <coughs> we find in the Manakshiksha, Raghunath Das Goswami Pad has called this desire for distinction a shameless dog eating woman. Raghunath writes, Oh, mind. The shameless dog-eating woman of the desire for distinction is dancing in my heart. How can pure saintly love then even touch that heart The great saints shed light on the different hidden desires for personal happiness in the hearts of the practicing devotees. And in this way they benefit the practitioners. This is also interesting. 
Actually, Ragnatta Goswami is eternal, perfect living entity. It's called Nitya Sita, eternal associate with Shrimate Radharani. Eternal associate of Goranga Mahaprabhu. But he's saying, the shameless dog eating woman. Of desire for this distinction is dancing in my heart. He was saying, like uh, he looks like condition so. But actually, he was put the position of condition so, like me, like us. But actually, it is not. And he said, if we have desire for distinction, then pure saintly loves never touch the heart. This is a very, very strong message. If we have a even slightest desire for all, interest, and then we can not touch pure love in, in the heart. <coughs> and also this say, uh, great saints shed light on different hidden desire for personal happiness in the heart of practicing devotion. So that means Many practicing devotees may have hidden personal desire, hidden desire for personal happiness in the heart. Then this hidden personal desire, Guru Dev is saying, our soul is many coverings. Some coverings very subtle. Some covering is very gross. By the mercy of Shri Guru and Vaishnava and Shri Hari can destroy this covering. So therefore, sometimes Guru Dev become very angry with us because he wants to smash these subtle or gross covering with us. So that we need the mercy of Sri Guru, Vaishnava, and Sri Haris. So this is a home in Goswami. And also this next verse, Sri Premananda Thakur, are showing us very important instruction. Srila Premananda Thakur has written in his Manakshiksh. O oh mind, you just don't understand. You say that you are beyond the Vedic regulations. But you perform forbidden activities. <clears throat> when I see this, I see your very essence. You call liberation a luxurious distraction and have thrown it far away. Give me a hint so that I can understand this truth. 
because you desire fleeting useless riches always and you are going mad thinking about it day and night outwardly you perform rituals without desire or gain <coughs> But you are not able to free yourself from that desire. In your speech, you are detached from the material world. Who you call my everything is the same everything you give only a lousy banyan leaf to and you think this banyan leaf is yours and you think i am giving it <laughs> <Shri Rad. laughs> mind you say I worship Vrindavan, but you are happily staying at home. You love all exterior trappings. You are satisfied with praise. But you are enraged when you are insulted. <laughs> How did you manage to destroy the happiness of your soul? You say that you follow the gopis. But what you understand but what you understand about the meaning of that? You can't let go of your nature for even one millimeter. You get pleasure seeing the face of material nature who swallows you entirely. Listen, says Paramananda, if you think about it, it's all a ball of confusion. What's to be gained by listening or flapping your mouth? Always chant, Hari, Hari, while you walk the path of love and you will surely be cleansed of all impurities I feel this passage uh, describing two faces inside the thinking something and the externally behavior something else or we say something by one but behaving differently this guru them said two faces means uh, duplicity this is uh, premananda Thakur. they pointed out uh, our uh, Foreign foundation soul has a tendency, cheating tendency. And uh, this clearly pointed out. And then he's saying, always chanting Hari, Hari, the holy name of the Lord. And then go 
evolve the path of love. A good name is the word love in action, externally and also internally. Then we will surely be cleansed of all impurity. This is Premananda. That is a very nice word. And like similar in Manaha Shiksha of Raghunanda's person. Strength is no, of, of the holy name is the positive alternative that we have. It's not the, our ego, it's the king of our consciousness. We need uh, something uh, positive you know, to, to concentrate the energy. <laughs> So the question is aligned. How how do we chant? How should we chant for the holy name? <coughs> and we are we are hearing this is kind of three stage of chanting. The aparada chanting means negative chanting. And also nama pass chanting. It's not to a parada, but that <coughs> it's not a fixing. And the pure chanting, Shuddhanam. So, and then later on, Babaji Mahaisha said, fixing our loving Ishtadeva means we fix our relationship with the Lord. Then we meditate and chant. Because from beginning, especially my experience like this. So we are not, we are just chanting. We are just chanting and listening the, the holy name. At that time, many things coming. Oh, what do I eat today? Oh, what shall I work today? You know, many things, oh, today I have to meet this person. During chanting, many, many material things is coming out. And then, slowly, slowly, we keep chanting, and then more concentration coming. <clears throat> but we are not fixing Ishtadeva and Ishtadeva's relationship and Ishtadeva's pastime. We are not realizing in this stage. But the Guru Dev is showing us how to chant. Means fixing our Ishtadev, fixing ourselves, means fixing our relationship, means know our Swarupa, know Ishtadeva, and also know the who is Guru Dev. And then Guru Dev say, chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And then Radhika embrace Krishna. And Krishna could not understand who is embracing. And then slowly, slowly Radhika understands, oh, Krishna is embracing me. And then Radhika, then Krishna Embrace Radhika again. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. Then, they are kind of Rama. They are both together in Rama. And then, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare. Oh, please, as a living entity, oh, Manjari, please come. Stay with us. This is very wonderful. In this vision, in this consciousness, if we chant, and then more, more pure name may come. Oh, 
if somebody have some sharing and comments, always welcome. Srila Thakur Mahashaya is saying, I will always pray to the lotus feet of my chosen deity that I can always hear chant and remember the loving topics of Sri Radha Krishna. These topics must be experienced with a desireless pure heart that is free from personal desires. But here, Thakur Mahasha said, Pray to the lotus feet of my chosen deity. It's called, we say, Ishtadeva. But uh, another important point is, we, we chosen Ishtadeva. Then, another important thing is, what is the relationship with this Ishtadeva? That is very important. That means, who am I? Who is my Ishtadeva? What kind of relationship we should have? What kind of service we would like to do for Ishtadeva? This is a very important point. So now we want to share, I think, uh, our Chaitanya Prema. Uh, because this morning, Guru Devas did so wonderful plans. He explained that this distinction is what is Gopi Baba, what is Saki Baba. What is Manjari Baba? So if we are not clear in this point, then we cannot be Stai Baba. <coughs> we cannot fix myself. Of course, someone who has motherly relationship is very good. Or oh, I am like Maya Shoda. I, my Gopal is in my children. That's also very good but should be fixed. So, and this morning class, Gurudeva so, so it nicely, and again, he tried to show us. So, I wish you to also share in this very important point. No, 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 you <laughs> Rade, Rade. So today morning we read from Pilatus Sumanjali, verse seventy six commentary. We were all very inspired to hear what here Sri Patananda and Babaji in commentary gave us. So, our dear Sri asked me to read one time more. 
page number. Uh, this is number 291. And we love this in Manjit. Uh, so I'm reading from the comment. It uh, speaks about distinction about the Gopi, Saki, and Manjarita. When the group is go to see Krishna, they don't desire happiness. And this increases their happiness millions of times. They feel a million times more happiness then Krishna feels when he sees them. They are not looking for their own happiness. And that exactly increases their happiness. There's only one explanation for this paradox. Oh. The joy of the gopis lies in Krishna's happiness. The gopis think Krishna obtain so much pleasure by seeing me. This thought makes their bodies and faces blossom. So Guru Dev was explaining this is Gopiva. <laughs> when Krishna is happy, then Radharani is happy. And when both Radha and Krishna are happy, then the Sakis are happy. So, what they was explaining, this is Saki part. But when Radharani comes out as the best, then the kinkaris, manjaris are happy. <coughs> All right. So only here we have what. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give us this manjari. Oh. How large the power was. Happy last. Happiness is a last. So you can say, I don't need to. Guru Dev Guru is saying, happiness is last. So bow last. Rati. Gopis are happy 
बिकॉज कृष्णा इज हैप्पी कृष्णा फॉर हर हैप्पीनेस सी इज नॉट वर्किंग सी ओनली वॉन्ट टू मेक कृष्णा हैप्पी दैट इज गोपी नो डिजायर फॉर डैम सर इज ऑल्सो वेरी हाई not for my enjoyment for my self gratification only for your happiness i do that is good people and when krishna is happy radha is happy this is only radha rani cannot be happy without krishna and when both are happy then sakhi is happy so what i practice i have to stay one point if not then we are neutral i practice this 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 then i am in neutral position and if i stay one point then my bow is straight <laughs> So this is today, this morning, very important subject. What is Gopi Baba? What is Saki Baba? What is Manjari Baba? Mm. And sometimes we say Ishama Sneha and Sama Sneha, Radha Adit Sneha. Only for pleasure of Krishna or Radha Krishna, both equally love. I want more love for Radha. That's the kind of different feeling. No, when Radha become more important, <clears throat> no Radha love. When the Radha is important, is more higher. That is Bhavla Shruti. And all Chetan Chetamriti read one paragraph. i show you every line is this check every line is talking how to develop manjari ma every place person is searching where i my sky balls ka They are not moving with other power. That is a I fix it. <laughs> I go that way to rally that. I go that way to rally, but that one is a mind. It's lost. And I am living in one nature, and I don't want to change that. This is fixed. So Guru Dev said, "If we are fixing Manjari Baba, we could to be any nature, yeah. any Baba. Yeah, any Baba. If you go to Baba, you have to fix there. Mm. If you want to Sakhi Baba, fix there. And if you want practice Manjari Baba, mm. here, there, there, not. Yes. <laughs> Therefore, if 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 some of us fix Manjari Baba, then even be the Chaitanya Charita, any any sentence, any." Any bus, we we feel this is Manjari. Are you not the no subject of? Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So now time for Kirtan. Thank you very much. So. So today, unfortunately, Sriti Didi did the traveling. She she could not do it. So, she is sick also. She is sick. So on her behalf, we are humbly did. So please excuse excuse us any some fault. That's it.